So now individual DJs have started being called. Mm-hmm. Right? So guys are being called. Mm-hmm. So units are breaking. Mm-hmm. This is now, I think, 20, now I'm going 2011, 2012. Mm-hmm. The last people from family was 2012. 2011 or 2012? 2011. 2011, I think 2011 mm. was the last one. Mm. Right. Yeah. You know that? I think Rekim found the one. Yeah. yeah. But then the second one, mm. Mo, Mo will tell you a story one day. <laughs> Mo, gospel, more gospel, more spice. More gospel. Oh, gospel. Mm. gospel. Mm. The second one had Rekim. Because you know the first one, remember Grob and the Machine and your gospel. Uh huh. Money or gospel, I will be like, I will be finally. There was King Nelly. King Nelly. Yeah. Yeah. King Nelly. King Nelly. King Nelly. King Nelly. King Nelly. King I don't know, but where is King Nelly? King Nelly, where you at? Bro, who call me, Bana? I used to work with King Nelly. Uh, Hala. KT, Hala. Hala. Hey, King Nelly. Hey, man, King Nelly, man, say, what? Yeah. Yeah. Is he still yeah, even Ricky, man? Even Ricky, man. He still plays, man. Yeah, he is so spinning. Plays, man. Okay. No, Ricky, Ricky still plays. Yeah, Ricky still plays. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, I so don't know. Let's so let's, let's get him up here, man. As, yeah, we should. Yeah. You know, this, this is a guy who's... King Nelly, man. DJ Guan, to have number by King Nelly. Nico, run by King Nelly. Nico, run by King Nelly. Okay, we got the plug. Guys, I go... Let's keep it moving. Yeah, so DJs have started being called as individuals. and so let me go back to my story because yeah. it's my story. Mm-hmm. This is just back stories. Yes. So I, I held on to MOB longer mm-hmm. because remember I've started my career at MOB. So, so, yeah. so how, how many years? Did I have three, four years? Uh, this is now 2011 is when I left. Okay. So, so I'm a, so that's like four, six, eight years. Four years. Eight years. Four eight years. Four years. Four eight years. Eight years. Go, this is the first and only place that I've, you know. Yeah. So mm. like these are the guys that had been DJs. So even if they left, they they knew their ropes. Yeah, like, right. I felt like I, I if I leave, where am I going? Mm. Mm. So right. This yeah. is the family that I've known yeah. all along. So that was a brotherhood. Mm. Yes. So I think I held on too long. I don't know, because now by the time I'm leaving, remember now guys have left Nini and guys are starting to form teams. No, yes. They're not really. DJs, units. but you know, we will go dread together, mm-hmm. cream, nani, kina nani. So, if I do a gig here, I'm going to get cream. Mm-hmm. Cream, I'm going to get W. Mm-hmm. You, you know, mm-hmm. that, that's like a gang. They're not really a unit, but they're calling each, each, each other for gigs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You get so, you know, me, I'm still in MOB. So, by the time I'm leaving, I'm getting this. These guys, you know, there's no way in because, like, these guys have already. Jipanga, you mm-hmm. know, like, mm-hmm. a more when nani, when, hey, there's a time, kina hypnotic. Mr. Drew, we yeah. are doing all the gigs, man. Man, I remember. You get it. Yeah. Because, yeah. and they were not a unit. Yeah. yeah. You get But there, there was that brotherhood in here, as guys have come from this place. So when I come to do a gig here, next I'll suggest this guy. Mm-hmm. Then, why would I suggest Godo? Godo has not even been part of our team. Mm-hmm. Plus, he was our rival. <laughs> remember, I don't know, we were just rivals. We didn't even know why we were rivals. We just rivals. <laughs> <laughs> just because. Just because. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just, just, a bit difficult mm. for me around that time. Like I, I know I'm a very harsh DJ, mm. and all, but now I'm, now I'm studying on my own. Mm. You know, I'm studying on my own. At least mm-hmm. I could secure a gig here and there. I still do did rock, mm. but then rock was starting to to, to fade mm. around 2012 yeah. because dancehall had become dance a thing. Become a Reggae had become a thing. Yeah. yeah. So rock was not as favored as much. Mm-hmm. Then the other problem that I had, and that's why I, I, I'll, I'll say to Dave the first time, for mm-hmm. those who don't know officially, mm-hmm. I used to be called the rock guru, and it's DJ Nijo mm-hmm. who gave me that name. I dropped the rock to remain the good. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is because branding myself as the rock guru, I would miss gigs. Mm-hmm. Because you and DJ are rock. And I, I, I think unfairly, I, I don't know, maybe they'll admit it one day. I think these guys also using that could talk or a sub. It's a gig, that is a rock DJ, but I'm a rock Yeah, that was a smart move to remove yeah. the rock. So I removed the rock yeah. and I, I remained the guru, and that's what I've been mm. last almost 11 years. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I feel uncomfortable when someone calls me the rock. Don't take me back. Don't take me back. Mm, Though I I I enjoyed my at some point admittedly I was I was the yeah. best rock DJ in Kenya. I was the most sought out rock DJ. Hello. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let me say I was talk really, your really, ish. Really mm. Shout out to everyone who supported me through my rock career. Mm. But at mm. some point I had to drop it. I remember I, I played at Capitol and I said it on air and I said rock is dead during a rock show. Boom. Ooh. Yeah, because I was like 
how can you go to three years? There's never been a rock concert in this country. Mm. When at some point you had two, three, in fact, on a, on a, on a night, there are two rock concerts. No, there's wow. Rocktoberfest and there's Rockfest and, you know. Yeah, that's a cool name, Rocktoberfest. Mm. All the way, you don't know what Rocktoberfest is, is, is an annual thing. Mm-hmm. So, to a point where we don't have a concert mm-hmm. in a year or two, you know, mm-hmm. that, that, that's telling. Mm-hmm. You get Yeah, it turns, it turns yeah so, good. anyway, so this is me now. I'm here, I'm getting gigs here and there. I'm getting gigs here and there. And yeah. me, but I'm feeling the pressure of, you know, like I've been under unit for so long, I don't know how to move on my own. Uh-huh. Like I, I've never moved on my own. Yes. Mm-hmm. You, you get it. Mm-hmm. And, and the good thing is I had contacts here and there. And plus, I'm a very good DJ. Mm-hmm. That one I'll do it again and again. So, still out. Uh, maneuver. Yes. Now, another key point in my life is 2013. Now you are <coughs> high school. Yeah? Form 1. Form 1. Mm-hmm. 2013. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Form 1. <laughs> 2013, I get a call from one Mr. Ratib Musa, mm-hmm. aka DJ Tibbs. Ah, Ratib. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Remember back then when mm-hmm. I was judging Tibbs? Yeah. Uh, we Made a yeah, 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 yeah. So Tibbs calls me and he's like, hey, you, you guy, will you play on 20, I think it's 29th, mm-hmm. no, 29th of December. Mm. Will you play Kisumu? I was like, ah, nice. Kisumu is like home. My yeah. sister has been married there for the longest. I've, I've gone there. I went there during fall, maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I will. Can you need a tour poster? So I'm waiting for the date. In between up and gonna date Zango Moja Bili Nini. I remember we were to do a show in Mombasa now to a pals. Uh-huh. Uh, it's on a crossover. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I was like, I I we gonna bombay my gig up and a pal na pata pata. But not because you're not a good DJ, you're not in the circle. Yes. We can. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> Tibbs comes through and calls me for the bro. It's like you come and you play. You come, you play. Uh, the Mdosi will be there. Yes. They'll listen to you. Nini nini. Uh, oh. So. Try out. No, like. Oh. 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 And I, I play music, and I, I know how to play music. Yeah. A bit. I know how to play music, so I kill a show. Mm. Uh, so when I'm leaving, uh, this guy... No, actually, before I went to Kisumu, on my way to Kisumu, mm-hmm. I got a call from someone called my Muga. Mm. He was working at Pulse then. I was mm-hmm. like, hey, you guy, let get your pal, let me get to the first, it may be cancelled. Uh, this is around the same time Kukua is told Zama Al-Shabaab So they cancelled my gigs Zama Beach So any my gatherings Zama Mombasa Nini Nini Wana Wana Yeah 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 You need war? 2013 2013 Yes So they cancelled mm-hmm. Waka cancel your gig Ah Nika Sama So what I'll go to Kisumu After that Minta Nita Ushago Yeah Nene Nika Tuliza Amada So now Nime Toka Nime Cheza Mini Nime Maliza I remember it's called Sopa Lodge. What was it? Sopa. Sopa Lodge. 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 When I woke up, I get a call from the manager of the club. I said, eh, I'm going to go to the club. But I'm going to go to the club. And I'm going to go to the club. I'm going to go to the club. I'm going to go to the club. Hello. You're the 30th. Yeah. And that was now, I think, on 30th. Yes. Yeah. So I went to LD. So you know, I've never, I've never really been scared when I'm playing. I've never mm-hmm. had those stage frights because yeah. I mean, I play everywhere. I don't mm-hmm. know, like I don't think I get to a point where I have stage fright. Mm-hmm. So I go and he's there. Uzuri is a guy who I used to know, and I'll yes. tell you how I knew this guy. Mm-hmm. So I was CD. I mentioned nation. <laughs> I know. you play more than you go in a band CD. Now, now I'm saying you know, you go in a band CD. Now, now, when I use my laptop, my laptop parts. That place, you go into Blue Mag. So you go into Sana, you go into Juana, you go into Blue Mag. Those guys, a guy, big shout to Peter. He's a guy who assembled my first computer. So I work at the Lifka Madamu Del Bay computer. Peter Del Nia symbol, you go Blue Mag. So they used to come, ni 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 na Juana na Blue Mag. Guess nani mo nyesi nature? Mo nyesi Blue Mag. Oh, 
Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is this are my days. Wow. Days. <laughs> These are lucky guys. <laughs> 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 So now this is almost ten years later. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to play with them. So I'm like, I'm like as much as Naskenga is on my Nizake, it's still people that I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I went, of course I killed the show. Then lucky enough, this guy's Nask- Rumba Rumba was so big by then. Nimingi mm-hmm. Maza Kucheza, Jumo Demba was there. Wow, uh-huh. that's kind of Africa. Yeah. So talk about then he came to ah God, we're not finding him. By the way, Naski place na kwanga na rumba sana. I bought weke kido ko. Since nika pika seti a rumba, na he had his own crowd. So what do we bambika? So anyway, I played. Kanda, I know like I've done my best. If you don't like it, you don't like it just because you don't like it, not because it was not my, it was not good. Nika pika si. Asubuhi ni kiamu. Mm. Eh, utacheza 31st. Wow. Mm. Wow. Alafu first Kisumu. Hey. Oh. Hey. That's, that's four days. Mm. Nani? Yeah. Nayo, nayo. So I had to come to Nairobi. Quick. Uh, I had to come to Nairobi, get fresh clothes. Now when I go and play, then I go back and, and, I, and I play on first, then now I'll go home. I went back to LD. Mm. So now I'm coming back with confidence. You know, I've already played here. I already know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we killed the show. Mm. We killed the show. Massive. Uh-huh. Nikaenda Kisumu the following day. Who a show? Rukisha mm. mwaka na mm. Piga. Now that's, that's January 2014. <laughs> you know what those guys told me? Mm. Mm. See you start playing every Friday Kisumu, Saturday LD. Now the rotation. Yeah. And that's how I started my rotation. Wow. Sheesh. It was a simple. That's how it's nice. an invitation. So tips are making the signal. Tips are making the signal. Tips! Tips! Yeah. 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 Man, big up. What up, what up? What up? up. And, and it's not just me. Tips mm. has really held a lot of people's hands. That's yes. dude, right? That's mm. serious. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, held yeah, a lot of people's, mm. people's hands. Anyway, now, that's my journey there. But I'll bring you back to another key thing that happened in the industry. Mm. Uh, on 2012, remember by this time, Big Ted is not just someone I consider like in the business, yeah. but this is like my brother. Yeah. So Ted calls me. I was like, go do, go go na mm-hmm. DJ. There's this thing that is coming mm-hmm. and I understood to organize something for the DJs. Mm-hmm. Pioneer had approached uh, Pioneer official distributors. Yes. Official distributors of Pioneer and Credible. Mm-hmm. Credible, Credible sounds. sounds, yeah. So they approached Credible Sounds. Uh-huh. They wanted to organize an event. Credible Sound sells equipment. Yes. They don't know anything about events. Mm-hmm. The owner, the Ravik Ted. Ted uh-huh. ni mtu wa my events. Yeah. Ted kuja. Nako nipangi kitu. Sao. Sini ya ma DJ. Ted mm. Ravik Yatad. Nani anajonga ma DJ wengi. Godo. Godo. Ita Godo hapa. So we start a nini nini and that's how Pioneer Convention came. Mm. Yes. So in the Pioneer Convention a nini nini. Part of the thing they told us uh, will give uh, a full a full set. Mm-hmm. Yeah, need to the winner and all that. Mm-hmm. They wanted to do it by a voucher. Okay. Ah, to the big oh, yeah. But remember, we are coming fresh off Pils oh, yeah. And there was no more Pils Namfalme. And guys were hungry, were hungry for a DJ competition. For yes. You get? Yeah. So part of the thing discussed with Ted Nini Nini, in fact, we'll do a DJ competition. Pioneer Convention. Yeah. 20? 2012, the first mm. one. Yes. 12. Okay. So that's how Pioneer Convention came. Mm. I started registering guys, nini, 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 and I, again, I'm meeting so many DJs. Mm. They are calling me, they are contacting me, we are exchanging. Yes. Nini, nini. You get, and the convention happens. Mm. And the convention, mm. you are the face of, the DJ face of the convention, in Nini Godo. Ted Nimdosi Nio, but Godo Ndio. Because I Ted would put me there as a DJ. We'd have so many guys, guys were doing the social media and in, in, in. Uh-huh. but you know, so you're still interacting with so many DJs. Mm. And also DJs see you brought this thing for us. Mm-hmm. Yes. I think that's the second thing that also now pushes guys to now respect so God. Yeah. I think I don't know, they probably will tell you. Every time you're here and someone tells ask them where Unajo Godo, Unajuaje Godo, 
That's how, but I'm like, like that really put me very close to mm-hmm. Jesus. Mm-hmm. And then these guys came for the second time, so we did that two times. Mm-hmm. So, in total, remember, I've done something for DJs in Kenya right. five, five years. You know, because we did Prince oh, Lafan with yeah. three times. Right. You can imagine the interaction and all that. And so, and so over there, we did three seasons of yeah. that, right? Mm. Three seasons, and now we are doing Pioneer Convention. And Convention wasn't just a DJ competition. Mm. It was organized where senior DJs will meet uh, these junior DJs. Yeah. And right, and, and they yeah. had prizes, like you were giving out equipment. Yes, so we created, they wanted to give prizes based on vouchers. Mm-hmm. You know, like they select a random person, but you were like, no, we are all DJs, yeah. we have to flex. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So there was a DJ competition nice. at the end of it, mm-hmm. and, all, and we did a party, and we did that two seasons. What mm-hmm. was the first convention? The first one was at Galileo. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, man. Yes. We they all, they actually all happened, them. all of them at Galileo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But the after party, the first after party happened at... Uh, this play, this club opposite Betty's, I club, I club, yes, I cl- Betty's. One happened at I club, the other one happened at Galileo Yatao. Oh. Those are Galileo at. Uh, at, at, at uh, 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 Dogo. Ah, Galileo not uh, uh, Betty's, ndio penye sixty four. Oh yeah, Betty's ah, 64. 64 yeah. Ilikuwa, yeah. Yeah. Ilikuwa, so opposite mm. yeah. Apple Kulukwa and I Club. That's what yes. we did. I think the first one was the second mm. one. The other one was done. Oh. The second one. The first <laughs> one was done at Galileo. <laughs> Galileo. I Galileo Club. I Club. <laughs> I Club. <laughs> Iko unona penye creamy in the atao. Iko. Yes. Opposite Pronto. Apple <laughs> Girls. Apple Ndo Ilikuwa I Club. Bro. What? Yes, Malimu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't, he doesn't know. know. Yeah. Yeah. So, we, so, we did that. There was a Galileo in Tao. That's what we did the first, yeah. the first one. Mm. Then the second one here, and here. so I think these are these are key things that I, in my wildest of imaginations, I'm mm-hmm. thinking this is part of the reasons why guys started. Mm-hmm. You know, this guy, this guy has always had our. Yeah. So you've done a lot for the culture, for DJ yes. culture. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now there's that, and then around that time, 2012, 2013, we started facing a lot of issues as DJs mm-hmm. because this is where Sasa Kina Prisk, Kina MCSK has started to become yeah, come, Yes. So they started to hold, not to judge my DJs, you know, nothing. Any, any, any. Mm. So I remember once Styles called me, called KD, uh-huh. we met, and then we actually went to meet these guys. Mm. We had our arguments, and then they need to present our case. Uh-huh. But what you can imagine, mm. and then we also did. Uh, Nonini had the, those are there was a one of them or some those are radio station. Nonini one of them. Mm. Yeah. He was with us there and we talked. Yeah. Yeah, for that we were like, there's need for an association. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So that we don't just randomly calling guys. Mm. Mm. Then someone tells us, by the way, during the other meeting at the convention, mm. there is a chick who said she's registered an association. For DJs? Yes. And she's mm. not a DJ? No, she was a DJ. Oh, she, she, was, she was not really the, 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 the very popular name. Okay. <laughs> so guys were like, instead of opening another one, let's find her. Mm. So we started going through footage. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was mentioned. Who's <laughs> this? Eventually we found her. Yeah. That's DJ Shock. Shock. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. I think all the actually, female DJs, yes. man. Say, all the female DJs, Shock. Mm. The industry owes, shock not just held. the female DJs, mm. the industry owes Shock. Yes. Right. yes, there might be things that have happened. Mm-hmm. Nini, a lot has been said. Nini, things didn't move, happen. but you know, for someone to have thought about that more than ten years ago and mm. gone ahead to to actually yes register. Mm. Yeah. So we had issues with it and all that. Nini, but at least this person thought about it. And, you know? mm. So we started the association. Mm. Started following up on it and all that and all that. Mm-hmm. So all the time DJs were attacked. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, "You guys come for you know." Yeah. So we're organizing meetings. By then, that's an hour, that's an hour, big ted, I call high, higher place. So ted me and I'd connect and I'd join and I'd join and I'd join and I'd join and I'd join. So we used to go for meetings. Mm-hmm. I remember around 2016, we had several meetings as NHIF with Kenya Copyrights Board. Yeah. You know, and who's the face there again? Godo. Mm-hmm. Godo is leading the front. Yes. You get. So any communication that comes from the government goes through Godo. Godo makes sure the, the DJs know it. You know, we, we, we fight for the DJs. Mm-hmm. You know, there's nothing. You can't. You can't. Blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. And I think all this, this uh, I'm, just, I'm just trying to mention some of the things that I think led to people knowing. Like, right now, I think it is a problem. There's a time, it is a problem in the industry. Just came from the beginning. But you know, back on a Yes. You know, like I sort of became the guy that guys go to when there's a problem. Mm. 
when there's anything yeah. industry there's a problem whether ni makanjo mm. whether ni nini so long as there's a problem in the industry yeah. zekulu is the guy who usually fights yes. yeah. right yeah. And, and i think this is some of the reasons why uh-huh. then the rest of it is this maybe i don't know the the other mentorship and all that and all that is maybe just me mm. mm. playing and i like guide you here and there because i mean remember wanga i didn't know him mm-hmm. and he actually opened the door for yes. me yeah. and i was a stranger so i've always yeah. felt like I can't. I I've opened. I've tried to open an academy for like seven, eight years. Mm-hmm. I can't. I don't know how to judge people. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying. I have an academy actually. Yes. Run, but I, I, no students mm. because I can't. I I you don't know how to know how to do it. Mm. I will mm. teach you and I'll yeah. show you the ropes. I know it's really business manager. I need a business I, manager. I, 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 I don't know how how, how to make. So it so let let so let let me ask you. Yeah. So right, you have an academy. It's registered. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So why don't you hire a business manager? Let let them run it. You see, the problem is that uh, people want to learn from you. They want to learn from you, but now see now be on the creative side. Yeah. But the business side, you don't let somebody. But that's, else but you see, money. what I'm saying is this: uh, it's not the business that is difficult for me. Mm. It's just the thought that I'm charging you to teach you this. Right. Because I think, I think is that is that that, that conscious? Yeah. Mm. So it's not really the running of the business. Right. Mm. It's just me thinking that so that you have to pay at the end of Olympic Kwanza mm. and pay and come. So you have to pay for me to teach you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, they, it's okay for guys to do that. That's why I wanted to do it. It's okay it's for guys you. to do it, but mm. it's just not me. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. And I'm trying. Please, mu join academy. <laughs> join. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think we need because yeah, yeah. come and me. Uh, At some point, actually, I wanted to, because Nick D is my friend, and I can I, I talk about her. Uh-huh. Kim, Kim. Kina Kim, those are like my brothers. Yeah. Mm. And um, I've seen the academy from start. And yes. at some point, I, I, I think I joked with Kim, and I was like, just employ me as a teacher. Mm. So you run, yeah, I just got my teach. Because I just want to teach. Yes. Well, you see, that's what I'm you saying for you, for your own academy. Yeah. Mm. That's what it is. Don't, uh, don't even, I don't even want to know how much you're charging, yeah. you know, get the students <laughs> in. You I know think I'll do it when I retire. Yeah. I think, that, that issue I think once there. I retire, yeah, yeah. Be able to I think it'll be a good it. move. Yeah, yes. it'll be a good because move. Because remember, right? Sorry. Because yeah. remember, remember uh, knowledge, transfer of knowledge is, is great. But now yeah. also, n- knowledge is also valued when there's an exchange of energy. This is something yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I I understand you 1,000%, right? Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I I used to teach also. Uh, I, I used to teach filmmaking and I also used to teach music. Mm. And and f- for some people, even if I didn't want to charge, you know what I did? A symbolic charge. Like, Give me a dollar. Ah, okay, every time you come, you, yeah, yeah, just mm. just one dollar, just one dollar. Yeah. Even if it's just a symbolic, mm-hmm. ten yeah. shillings, mm. take it. Yes. And then now, uh, once you retire, set up a proper structure. Proper, yeah, listen, yeah. You, you know what I mean? Hey, somebody, hey, listen, you 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 book the students. Mm. Yeah. Get the money and then we'll pay pay the bills. Pay you need you know you need to pay for electricity. You need to buy equipment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so at the end of the day, uh, you know this is for free by the way. So <laughs> so you got to make money. Uh, so this is, this is, uh, I, I said I can't tell my whole story. I'll try to tell in bits now because mm. it's, it's, it's a long one. Mm-hmm. Right. And now we've gone into 2016. Remember, I'm still doing it. Uh, I'm still doing uh, Kisumu. I'm doing Eldoret. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. How many signatures? Mm-hmm. As a boy, there were about five. Okay. As a because there was Nairobi and there was Mombasa. Yes. Mm-hmm. About five, but I used to play just those three. Okay. Because Nairobi and Mombasa were just Rumba. Ah. Uh, yes. So, uh, this was good. Uh-huh. It was good money. Uh-huh. It was consistent money. Uh-huh. Again, uh-huh. that's how I built my my house in Chad. That's how I bought my car. Mm-hmm. So it was it was okay. Uh-huh. But it did me a disservice if I can say that. Because mm-hmm. like, these guys are coming. Uh-huh. I'm not in Nairobi. Oh, yeah. These guys are coming. I'm not in Nairobi. Uh-oh. You get. So I'm, I'm a good DJ, but I'm not in Nairobi. So the young guys who are coming up in Nairobi, uh-huh. they're cool. They don't know this guy. Mm-hmm. Unless you're a DJ. Uh-huh. You get. So I felt like, it sort of felt like I was not in the industry or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Out there. You get. Because I'm, I'm away. Because yeah, at the yeah. point I actually moved. Mm-hmm. I think 2018. So I moved. Much because I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was like... Back and forth. Back and forth a lot. Mm. So I was like, let me just move and get my nini uh-huh. there. It also helped me because that being back and forth, my parents were now retired. It enabled me to see them oh, yes. quite often. Yeah. yeah, so that was also a motivation for me moving. Uh-huh. Mm. You get mm. Yeah, so that, that was that. And uh, I felt like the industry grew. And 
things were changing in the industry, things mm. like social media, mm. one and all that. It's coming all in. The, 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 the old Nini and the old, uh, and I was like sort of missing mm -hmm. again. And uh, I became like a local DJ. I think at, at some point, guys, they will not admit it, but you know, at some point, Kunawatu in your Lingsha Makamadara, Jesus is like, like now this, this one is washed out. Uh, again. Is it because oh, Nisha. I think even 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 the guys I was playing with there, uh -huh. they would not respect me now as much. You know, mm -hmm. they would look up to me when I started going and I was there and I was this guy. Mm -hmm. You know, but now the the industry has moved. Say, what on Abukioma Nairobi there? This all these big clubs, mm -hmm. but Godot is not playing there. Yeah, you get. So I, I I sort of feel like even the guys that I was mentoring and bringing up and all that, even the guys in Kisumu, ni, 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 guys probably felt like yeah. you know, now we can look up to the other guys now, not yeah. not mm -hmm. just. Mm. And then COVID came and all that. So I decided, okay, you guys, I'm coming back. Mm. I'm coming up to reclaim my spot because, mm -hmm. in all honesty, I'm, a lot of things have happened, a lot of DJs have come, mm -hmm. and I've seen a lot of them that I don't think at some point I've ever felt like I'm not one of the top DJs in Kenya. No, you I have no point. I've never felt like there's someone who's so good that I'm I'm, I'm off that. Mm -hmm. You get I probably just distracted Kidogo because I went here, yeah, what not, you know, like, eh, eh, eh. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, let me come back <laughs> to the middle of the, the, where, where, where the meat is. Mm -hmm. Let me come back here. And reclaim mm. not just my respect, my sport, and all that. Again, mm. so it's not like some people tell me you're back. I'm not back. I'll use the words of the 100 meter world female champion. Mm. I'm not back. I'm better. Mm. Yes. Okay. So she said, "Dude, well you know, said. So that's me coming back." And uh, the good thing about coming back is again. I'm using guys. You see, like Akinamelo, yeah. they will tell you about this Godo guy. Yeah, so you yeah. might not have interacted with this Godo. Who the fuck is this like, Godo guy? Godo? Mm. You know, go to anyone else. You know, like it's it's DJ Mo or it's DJ Kim or it's, mm. it's Darling or it's what they're telling you. Maze, you gotta book Godo. Godo is as, you know, you're like I respect this guy so much, and he's showing me that he's, he respects this guy. So mm. much. Still because somebody yes. respected. Mm. So you like, like I never knew him. Mm. Like, right. I'll book him because somebody. Yes. Is, right. So again, this is this are this are the people that I interact with. These are people that I maintain. Yeah. Mm. You, you, you get, and and this is why I tell guys always maintain the relationships. Always mm. you don't burn bridges and all that because mm. the guys who've been able to bring me back to the industry. Mm. Yeah. Are the guys who I used to be with. Yeah. 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 Because now they're so highly respected. Mm -hmm. But they still respect me. You know, like you respect Joe so much. Mm -hmm. But when Joe tells him, as a book, Godo. Try Godo. If this person is saying that, and maybe then him Pia could just say the same thing. Chris Darling Pia could be the same thing. You're like, huh? Oh, let's do that. Yeah. yeah. And then that one opportunity you get, mm -hmm. now you show, you deliver. Show we were. Mm -hmm. you get. And then that brings another one, and mm -hmm. another one, and another one. Mm. Yeah, because things changed. Uh -huh. uh, if you ask me right now, uh -huh. I'd say something very controversial. Uh -huh. DJs will hate me for this. DJing standards in Kenya have gone, have dipped. Mm. So Pay much. attention, guys. Uh -huh. well, tell actually, us why. Actually, actually, say this on camera. Mm, tell us. I'll say DJ standards in Kenya have dipped significantly. Mm. Not just standards, let me say acceptable standards. Mm. You know, like this is the threshold you have to mm. yeah, those ones have dipped. Mm. But well, mm. the showbiz has skyrocketed. Up. So this is these skills. I'll tell you why. Uh -huh. In 2008, uh -huh. let's go back actually to 2005. Uh -huh. There's a DJ from Minnesota uh -huh. called DJ Scratch One. Uh -huh. <laughs> Such one is a Kenyan. I guess he was in Minnesota. Yeah. He came back. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. He came up with a gadget. Mm -hmm. It's fatter than this phone. Mm -hmm. It was like this half this block. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're like, this guy would connect turntables and a laptop and then and you're like, what the fuck is this thing? How is, <laughs> how is this thing working? Yeah. And he'd play music and he'd be like, Ay! Yo, what is this? Oh, you remember what it was? What was it? It's um 
Scratch Live box. It's called the SL uh, the SL one. Mm. This was in the SL one. Yeah, the SL one. Yeah. Actually, so the first Serato gadget was that box. It was idea because. Oh, you put them SL one box. So this is it. Scratch Live could not work when you natumi a Serato DJ Pro side. Yeah, mm. used to. So used mixer. To, until this time, mm. we are playing with the CDs. Yes. Now this guy has come. His music is on a laptop, mm-hmm. not CDs. Mm-hmm. As guys have music on the laptop, but you have to burn yes. ah. so that you can. Now yeah, he's, he's come with the laptop. Music. He is a pioneer. 909. What I need to do is 909. Mix some zito for And then I got turntable. But then you know turntable to make it because turntable you had to have records. I got I got turntable. I got a record. 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 Like, like how, how is this? Yes. So the mixer was this an analog mixer, mm-hmm. but you put the RCS up and mm-hmm. in a toka uko in a laptop. USB. Mm. Yes. Now you're playing okay. So you know right, right, right now this thing is so common you yeah. think it was common all along. Mm. Let me tell you, Scratch One had to start burning CDs because he could okay, you guys were like, no, you, uh-huh. this can't work here. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you come to Rome, <laughs> yeah. you had to actually start burning CDs. <laughs> yes. You get. Uh-huh. And then I think Styles went to Majuni and he Styles was a very cool kid. Styles came with it. I think Pinya, all these top top uh-huh. DJs started coming with this thing. I think I remember Nijo also went to Dubai at some yes. point. He came back with it. Mm. So it started being it started being a thing. Mm-hmm. But it was a principle of the few who yeah. could afford a laptop. Yeah, a computer in here was a laptop. So guys started having that. Mm-hmm. You get. Yeah. So guys started having that and guys started having that. And then around 2008, mm-hmm. as I'm telling you, mm-hmm. these guys with this box. Now they put this box in a mixer. Mm-hmm. So now the, it became one Part gadget. Of the mixer, right. yes. mm-hmm. And that's the mixer, the 57 TTM SL57. Yes, yeah. Wow. That first mixer. Now it came with that thing. Now mm. it's like integrated, integrated into, into the mixer. That's the one. Mm. You get And now you could just connect direct to a mixer the laptop. Where? I'm mean, like, things were changing. But again, it was a place of the field. Mm. The reason why I brought this story up. And, I'm, and the reason why it's coming to tie to DJing, the, the quality of DJs going down, mm-hmm. is because when this mixer came, these guys also came with something that only Kina John were doing, but they were doing pre recorded. Mm-hmm. Video mixing had become a thing. Oh, yeah. But this guy would, they would make Nini Koma software, Nini, so mm-hmm. they play on TV, but yeah. it's pre recorded. This thing you could do with it live, live. You get mm-hmm. now I can play music and the music that I'm playing, you're seeing it on TV. Mm-hmm. That was a big deal. That thing was a game changer. Yeah. Yeah. This was a big thing. But even those guys are going big screen. The money TV is going to be more than TV. I need TV to see. Yeah. Because why are you watching a TV in the club other than football? You get So TVs were not a thing in the club. Other than football, there's nothing to watch. Yeah. But now, video mixing may come. Who did you have a video? Yani. Mm-hmm. That's where we took our first hit as DJs and quality of DJ. Ah. Because now it became who can play videos. Oh, yeah. So before that, it was who's harsh. Yes. No, no, no. Now it's who's, who's, who can play Who can play video? Mm-hmm. Who can yeah. play, remember, ties it's only with. Only a few have invested in this. Exactly. Thing. Those who can afford. Mm-hmm. It starts with them. Mm-hmm. Only those yeah. who you, you get. Getting videos is easy. Ah, 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 Getting those videos was a problem. Right. Fire there size. A, there was a guy called Dingo. I never met him in person. There was a guy called <laughs> Dingo. Dingo? <laughs> Dingo is it was the plug. Dingo was the plug. <laughs> <laughs> Dingo, <laughs> Dingo was the plug. <laughs> <laughs> this, guy <laughs> <had videos. laughs> this guy was supplying DJs in Kenya with videos. Whoa. I don't know if guys had other Nini, but I know Dingo was supplying Nini. Mm. So, we're going to Dingo. Sasa si unatafuta dingo sasa lazima pia uko ni 
video so kumekuwa na boom ya channel Eh channel hiyo ilikuwa MTV nini hizo zilikuwa. So guys guys used to watch uh-huh, videos. Uh-huh. But remember kina John wameanza hizo na nini video mixing sasa yeah, H2O. Uh-huh. So in video na mixing. Unajua zamani yeah. ulikuwa unaona video na isha ingine. Yeah, so it's become a thing but now people didn't think you could actually do it. Yes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I remember you're playing at Resorts in Westlands. Mm-hmm. And because there are no big TVs man. Do you go to Resorts in Tuani in Germany? Never did you see Kwaka. Yeah. Who's to Space used to hire guys. Uh-huh. Also events. Mm. Na come na screen. Yeah. Projector. Yeah, they come with they used to have some some big screens. Mm. I, I think were in a 40 something 50 something inches. Yeah. They'd come with like two or set up. Yaani unaona vile vile set up ufanywe ya wedding ama any for set up amekuja na set up TV. Hii TV zenye siku zimo round club na darao. Bana kuna mzee ilikuwa job yake ni kama kuseta. Every weekend guys game to set. Alikuomboka mzee. Alikuomboka. Ah hiyo pia ilikuwa preserve the few. Wale wanaona wale wanaoliza pale nina nina chache. So the guy would set like two. Alafu they created a big screen. I think ilikuwa mambao ma plywood and they painted it. Ilikuwa na kind of resorts in their club. What? Video kwa chaza mpaka wasio taxi au baba anaangalia. Space space ni kama so Madrid kutoka tu wait. Yes, space na styles mazee ni watu wamechini. Styles na space. Shout space and I'll mention styles. So so let me let me ask you were these actually TVs or projector with project with No, now and the, the one that was put outside was actually a project okay but this the inside on what tv actually mm. yes they come back and stand you get them on a stand and they roll, them. roll them because in. tvs are not in clubs as as the they are right yeah, they yeah, actually yeah. put these things for so for that's when event. now tv yeah then they they were doing you know isoma vent za inje yeah. when they go in so they, so they turned into they a business mm. they were doing these are guys who get who did this business mm. of hiring screens. hiring screens out yes And that's how now the no. uh, clubs started <laughs> now buying TVs because now DJs are playing in it. So we see mm. they, they see the, the, the need for TVs. Yes, the need now. for big TVs and all that. Before that TVs were just for football. That, that's the only thing. Oh, right. Yeah. So culture ya club ma DJ ndo am introduce sasa officially TVs in clubs for video mixing. Yes. Kitambo ilikuwa ni ball tu you could only watch football. Yeah. So there was no need for ni nini. But now this guys because you have to hire ni alafu unajua ni big screen. Mm. That's how it came. Uh-huh. Yeah. Damn. And now it was about the reason why I'm being so because it became about who can play videos. Mm-hmm. That's the best DJ is the one who can play videos. <laughs> Now it takes away from before that we used to collect three piece kona capella instrumental you're doing all this mash up na yes. ni remix mm-hmm. that's what made you a, a good dj a better mm-hmm. dj is on good now it became about who can play videos mm-hmm. so you stopped doing all these things all these remixes and all that you mm-hmm. concentrated on looking for videos mm-hmm. all YouTube videos dingo dingo youtube bado video ziliwaka chafu chafu bado vivo vivo ikakaa bado dingo na kupatia quality ya sound sound dingo na sound eh you get that mimi sasa i'm lucky because now i was doing uh, rock yeah mm. unique videos that it is like, ah. a big thing yeah that was the first dent uh-huh. because now dj's became about oh yeah, yeah. Mm. videos you'd go to a club say you know uliza instagram you'd go to a club can you do videos no mm. makazi uko na video nga are you playing videos <laughs> can you do video mixing <laughs> <laughs> kama una video mixing uko na hundi anapatiwa kazi it doesn't matter how good you are <laughs> You get so it became about that and it took away from the need for the skill and mm. all that and all that mm. so you are lucky if you already had the skill because there's no difference yeah. you're just playing yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah you get so those guys had more advantage mm-hmm. you know you had an advantage over other guys yeah. you already have the skill mm-hmm. but now everyone getting into the industry mm-hmm. what do they want to they want to have videos mm-hmm. that's how you get work mm-hmm. you get <laughs> that i think dented the industry so yes mm-hmm. and then the second one okay personal family tried uh-huh. and personal family na jum falme he changed the culture kwa John Farmer alikuja na mambo ya kutransform. Sasa kila DJ akaanza ku practice. 
<laughs> and DJs will spend the whole day. You know, like we'd go for a competition and kill a DJ. Uh, 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 uh. And I'm like, hey, what else? Can you mash up two songs? Yes. Can you play an instrumental? Can you do what? That became like the industry. And to date, mm. it's seen like the industry standard. Okay, that is still skin. So I can say that took away. Or that they did. Mm. The, the thing that put DJ skills to their deathbed mm. is social media. Mm. Yes. Wow. Yes. Now it started being about mm. who's what, flashing. What following do you have? Mm -hmm. You remember what T-Boy said in that, that video I posted? Mm. T-Boy came and hushed the T-Boy was doing. Wonders. Mm. Mm. All these things. He came here. You're he being asked. Wanna follow us? How many followers do you have? And you will not get work <laughs> if you don't have the followers. Like, pull up, pull up. That's <laughs> messed up. So, so basically, about about skills is not even have, an issue anymore. Yeah, They're not so skills, the skills has not been an issue for a long time. Right. You right. get, and that's why I said. Remember, I said the acceptable. Mm. Uh, bare minimums for being a DJ have really yeah. dipped, mm. but showbiz has gone because yeah. showbiz is what now brings you the numbers. Yes. Mm. You're on social media, ni, 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 ni. Mm. so for you to have the numbers on social media to be all that on the nini and your brand and all that, mm -hmm. you know, you have to have showbiz. You got to be flashy. Yes. So that's what I'm saying. Showbiz levels have gone up. Mm -hmm. This thing mm. Pera is doing. How many twenty years ago on the shanka? What you come here on stage na madem na. What the hell is going on? <laughs> 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 because there was there was there was no need. But it's not going to be a thing. Only a few work in a space and you know, people who had money. That's just a lie. I could dread what of a little material. No, like it's a piece of a few. Mm -hmm. You can. And stars, we shall do stars because stars try to change the culture. He did. Mm -hmm. He's actually. He's actually. Stars tried yeah. from a long time ago because I remember when they did Scratchaholics. Yeah. I remember seeing them. This, these are times I just want to be a DJ. Like, I want to. This thing is exciting. Mm -hmm. I remember they had a gig, I think, at Nation FM. Mm -hmm. And they came with red tuk tuks. <laughs> the tuk tuk wasn't a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey! Red tuk tuks. Yes. In mm -hmm. Tao. Tao. Wakienda Nation Mini. That's a lot. That's investment. Uh, yeah, yeah. Later tuk -tuk on, I remember when they were called red. Now, they used to pull stands, including. Mm -hmm. You remember Prezo came with a chopper? Mm -hmm. Them they came you with know. a fire truck. Oh, oh, I told yeah. you that. I was, I was yeah. telling you that. Oh, oh, those are the guys. Okay. They, yeah, now, they came with a fire yeah, truck. Yeah, these kids came with a fire <laughs> truck no, for no, an no. event. Yeah. <laughs> so they, 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 I think the problem is eh, mm. other guys did not back them up. Uh, you get it's like if you bring a style and this, also this one and this it oh, becomes yes. a trend. But if you're the only one who's doing it. Mm, you know, I don't let me say the What would I show? Because you're the only one who's doing it. You, you, you uh, get. Yeah, I wish. Yeah, uh, and yeah. even Pierre, when Pierre now came in and 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 said, "Peace out, Pierre." By the way, mm. come a long way. So when yeah, Pierre uh, came in and 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 started doing an old girl, uh, DJ yeah. unit and Nini and mm. all this flashiness and all this and all that and all that. You know, at some point now, female DJs took over and they fuck. They went overboard. Mm. But then you could panda and Nini chicks were doing, you know, like. Yeah. But it became something because so many guys jumped on it. It became too much. Gun guys were like, yeah. But you know, so that's what I'm saying. Levels of showbiz went high. Yeah. yeah. But skills but, uh, most of those went guys down were playing, the drain. says it. Mm. It's like you came here and these busy guys were like, you go and listen to a guy because they are the ones who are so booked. And you're like, what the hell is this? Mm. Because, because you come from a culture where you know you have to be high. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I think I think if you ask me, that's that's one of the reasons why I'd say. The, the guys out there, big shout out to young guys like City, there's a guy called Bray, mm. you know, Wolverine, the guys who still need me, but you don't give them gigs. You want guys who have social media numbers. But well, let me, on, let me, so, let, let me ask so guys, you. guys will not, you know, I wake up in the morning and I'm trying to call people. I'm not going to practice. Mm. I'm trying to call to money. I'm trying to call yeah. car. I'm trying to call this one so that I secure a gig. You know, Kitambo, you try to be the best DJ, you should mm. practice and do this and do that, yeah. so that you're harsh, so that you get the gig. Mm. Nowadays, is who do you know, what your social media is about, and, mm. and all the, this. The loudest mm. noise. Yes, mm. so that's what I'm saying. So, skill became secondary. Mm. That's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Acceptable skills dipped. 
Yeah. yeah. So, so you have numbers, you want someone who has numbers. Mm. Don't really care. Kina Gogo are getting gigs. They're so fresh in the industry. Mm. Yeah. But they'll get gigs. Someone will trust them with their gigs. Yeah. Because yeah, they have a following. It's, it's about mm. So you've yeah. not even thought about, are they really good? Can they hold a crowd for you? You've seen social media. You've seen them do skits for one, two minutes. How do we go minute. about it though? For, for, because for me, no, it's, 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 it's there. So we, the thing is, we have to adapt. It's, it's, it's so I'm time not has blaming. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, first of all, yeah, blaming you. Yeah. You, you, uh, you can't. Happening right it's a generation. You can't go back to yeah, the way and things were. Just, DJ, you can't go back. You know, like in Asia, we're getting mm. jobs. Mm. Why? Because social media, and it didn't even start with us. Comedians started getting jobs. Then you were a principal. Guys who've gone through. Uh, training uh, in unique journalism, journalism, yeah. something as really mm-hmm. because, yeah, yeah because guys. this is what people want, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you know. So, we move from the conventional, in me, yeah. you gotta so, give the people so, what the people want, exactly. You know? So, I, I can't say it's I can't say it's bad. I'm like, just move with it. This is, uh, yeah. you know, AI is coming. We were talking earlier. Yeah. Exactly. AI is coming. You yeah, can't start to blame uh, AI actually, you. actually, Gojo, yeah, that's that's a very good that's a very good segue at, yeah. at this point. Mm-hmm. You know, AI is uh, basically an indication of what's happening in real life also yeah. you see it happening for instance let's uh let's branch out a little bit hip hop mm. yeah. mm. same thing mm. you see guys like uh you know what Jay Z used to do what Nas used to do with all these now you see the Lil Nas X you see all these new you know new rappers mm. yeah. There's no way you're gonna go back to listening to Rakim and mm-hmm. Big Daddy yeah, yeah. Kane, you know. So these are all they've done their thing. Now the new school is here. So same thing for you, right? Uh, you gotta have a social media following, or you cultivate your following, or your yes. your network, the people you fuck with, right? Mm. So now same thing. Uh, let's go into into AI, right? Because yeah. for you right now, you embrace AI, True. and for me, I, I embrace AI 100 percent as well. So now. What, what what do you see? Uh, what do you see happening in terms of now? You know, you see, you've seen the transition from CDs to freaking MP3s to to SL1s. Have, have you know what I mean? MP3s, right? On CDs, yeah. Then there's a, the SL1s came, the rings and all. Right. So now you can actually yeah, yeah. stream. You can yes, stream yes, directly yes. from from yes. the internet. Yeah. So now, what about AI? How do, how do you see yourself incorporating AI into your your skill set to move forward? Um. What I've been battling is uh, because, like I told you earlier, when, before this guy's came, mm-hmm. I come from uh, a generation that when I started, I was telling him, and I, I was burning my CDs. Mm. I used to know my CDs off it. Yeah. Um, like you'd want a song, and I tell you, go to CD number 76, it's track number four. Boom. Go to this and go to that. Yeah. You know, like I come from that. So. Even when we started going into into Serato and all that, I, I I keep telling guys, I feel like you ever seen a movie where they shoot a guy and then the bullet is coming in slow mo and mm. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. this thing is moving like in slow mo because imagine if then I had to get a CD, go to that CD, insert it, go to track number four and go and cue it and play it, you know, and get it out and and I'm doing that in real time. Yeah, tell me how easy it is when I just search, bones here, load. Cute, mm. you know, like things. Oh, things yeah. are, like they, they feel like they're so easy. Uh-huh. You get, and and that's where AI is taking us. Most of the worry that people have is that it will take our jobs. Mm. Mm. Most people are not worried about how will I use it. You are wondering, oh, it mm. will a job. Oh, mm. they'll start using AI. Blah, yeah. blah 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 blah. I'm like, uh, the basics right now is it can you know you can use AI maybe to you know. Shuffle your your, your playlist. playlist. Good at it, right. the, to me, that's the basics. I already have it stamped in my head. Uh, yeah. the music that I, do. I already have that, so it's not really uh, helping me that as much. Right. You get, but I'm like, I'm always there. What is that thing that will come? Yes. That's, that gonna, I will that's gonna be a game, in. A game yes. changer. Yeah. The ones that are already there are an advantage to probably the younger guys who are, who are coming. Mm. Who are not used to all this, you know. I've, I've gone through all this, and I, I know how to process my my stuff. And, mm, right. You know, I tell people I don't I don't plan my sets. Yeah. I don't know how to plan a set mm-hmm. that I'm going to play, and this is my playlist. That I don't know. I mm. get there and I look at guys, and I'm like, let's go. You mm. read the room. Even radio used to do that. Like, yeah. let's go. Mm-hmm. That's how that's how I'm trained. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that that's the way you should do it. Mm-hmm. Some people know. I I, I know Kinabash, Nani. Guys know mm. this. The, the, Juice in the mix. Mm-hmm. This is will be my playlist, or this is how I'll do it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. When I start 
making a playlist to just find myself doing my own thing. Because I listen to this song and I'm like, I'm excited. This song reminds me of this time. And I, before I know it, I'm not even making the playlist. Right, so right. there's a way I'm trained that what is on AI so far, mm. I don't feel like I need it. Yeah. I don't need yeah. you to analyze music and tell me uh, this is this is music by keys mm. or this is music by number of plays. Mm. I don't need that. Mm. You've already but, done that. Yeah, I've you already know. done that. I've mastered it. Mm-hmm. But I'm on the lookout for when something will drop mm-hmm. that will be like, uh, this one, Yeah. this one right here. Game changer. This, already, though, this is the game changer. Yeah. I'm on the lookout for that. Yeah. That's awesome, man. So Definitely now, on the yeah. lookout for that. And that's what people should do. Absolutely. Yeah. It's coming. You, know, you got to embrace it. Okay. Yeah, you got to embrace it. You got to use it. Take a week. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming to make your work. Definitely. Easy. Now, moving yeah. on, right? Uh, so, so, so for you now, we're we're up to 2018, and then now this is pre-pandemic, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna try to speed things along a little yeah. bit. Because okay. right now we're an hour and 39 minutes already into the segment. Yeah. Uh, so now, um, pre-pandemic, because you know this is a big fuck up, right? This whole lockdown took everything away. So talk to us, give us a brief about what happened during that time. Now pre-pandemic, I'm still remember I'm still playing. Uh, Kisumu. I'm, I'm still doing my gigs. But Kisumu, Eldoret. Kisumu, Eldoret, Kakamega. Right. No, at some point I stopped. Uh, I think 2018, I, I stopped doing Eldoret. I was just doing Kisumu, Kakamega, Kisumu, Kakamega. Right. And all that. And now, around this time, because I've always had love for production, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, I shot, for those who know, I shot Bits and Breaks mm-hmm. in 2014. Okay. Right. And to quickly run you, before I shot Bits and Breaks, actually, I wanted to shoot a sort of a documentary. Mm-hmm. 30 years of DJ industry in Kenya. That's from 93 right. to 2013. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you bought some equipment? No, I still don't know anything about equipment. Right. I just had but the you, concept. But you had the, yes. the concept. And now I so was trying to talk to guys. I remember I had a sitting with DJ Kariz. You know, I'm trying to talk to guys. Uh. But there was no footage. There was... You know, like I'd want a B-roll. Mm-hmm. You understand? People right. Know, there's no footage previously of mm-hmm. anything. Because you know, like, we weren't crazy about, about documenting anything. You know, like, right. um, yeah. And part of this reason, uh, the reason why I, I thought about it is I was a very big fan of, uh, if you remember, there was this E2 Hollywood story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So they would pick, an, uh, they would pick a star, they would talk yeah. about them, their journey, and they would always go back to footage when this girl was younger. Or, oh, you yeah. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wanted to do that, but... Where do I get the footage? No archive. <laughs> There's nothing. There were no exactly. pictures. There were only a few on Facebook back then. Yeah. So I can't. I can't tell a story in 1990. Where am I getting the footage? Where am I getting the Where am I getting all that? So I'm like, as I as I try to write this, why don't I start creating uh, this footage? Content, right. Oh yeah. So that's why I had bits, bits and breaks. And I, I, okay, at some point I could it overwhelm me, but I was like, imagine if I was still doing it a DJ every week yeah. from 2014. Imagine how much well, the archive would you would have. And yeah. I told myself, maybe 10, 20 years from now, someone would want to do a documentary of DJ mm-hmm. from this time. They would have footage. Yeah. They would have a lot of material. So you'd be the archive for the industry. So that's, that's what I wanted. Let's create materials. Mm-hmm. So the, the things that we're talking about, he doesn't understand. Yeah. Right. If those guys were talking about those things, yeah. then mm-hmm. if in, 20, in 2005 we had a sitting and we talked about the SL1 box and the way yeah. it's come and it's changing, the, and this guy looks at it today. Mm-hmm. Then, yeah, he would have gotten you know, like, yeah, it, yeah. It, yeah. something interesting. What even even, even, mm. even the things that we're talking about right now, if those reference, yeah. right. it would make even this podcast very interesting. Wow. Because Absolutely. you actually run back to it. Mm. Yeah. So that's how I started Bits and Breaks. Mm. And then while shooting it, I used to hire a studio and hire lights and hire guys and all that. And then I got into love for production. Mm. You know, like lighting, what mm. no nini, camera work, I started Exposure learning all that. And, stuff, right. and I learned it yeah. so much. That I became so good at it mm. that I opened a production company. Nice. And I started doing production gigs. And nice. I have very, very big production yeah. 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 Okay. And uh, to tie to my story, this is also distraction for me. Mm. Because at this time, you know, I'm in Kisumu. I'm doing my gigs. I'm doing all right. Mm. But I'm so focused on production mm. that now a lot is happening in the DJ industry that I'm missing out. Yeah. Especially here in Nairobi. Because mm. yeah. I was so focused on this production as well. And production mm. and production and production. So, so pre pandemic i was doing the djing and it was okay mm-hmm. but production also becomes such a big right. thing yeah mm-hmm. production I, I was doing very big gigs mm-hmm. right you get then production gets here and production helped me so much during the pandemic mm-hmm. because we would still get one or two right. and you probably got into well, live, live streaming live as streaming, well yeah that's why even when we started live streaming mm-hmm. it was easy for me because 
I mean, you were already doing, doing this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've been doing live streaming, and I, we were live streaming a lot of events, especially burials and all yeah, that. Right. So inside live streaming, the DJ thing, it was easy for me. I already have the gear. I have most of the things. And, uh, yeah. and guys would do it from my house. Those who were able to you know, DJ this mm. they would come to my house and they would do yeah. the live streaming there. Mm. And it was easy for me. Right. And I did a lot of uh, me during that time. Mm. And this, this, this time, I'm telling you, we also did a lot of burials. Mm. And much as it was good money, it was also a very stressful time. Because, yes. you know, you, you, you're shooting a, a burial today mm. and tomorrow. You're editing the burial. Yeah. Oh, so you're yes. going through this thing and it's yeah. emotionally draining so, and yeah. draining. And, you know, and, yeah. yeah. People crying then, and all that. Yeah, it's got Just after, pan, after pandemic, I lost my dad. Oh, so sorry. now all these things you've been going through and people, you know, you, you're, you've, you've covered 30 mm. plus, 40 burials wow. and now today it's, it's your turn mm. you get i think took a toll on me so much that i actually opposed the production okay. after a bit because i'm like especially if you're calling me for a burial gig or whatnot i can't mm. i can't yeah. do that space too much Latin. so i still connect my friends with it then i was like eh, djing I, I mean i mean production as well you know your team mm -hmm. I, I have people who failed me in my team so much that yeah. i felt ah, let me just go back to dj yeah. i love right. djing <laughs> and it's me if i fail right. it's you don't me. have to I don't have anybody blame, right. you know? yeah, yeah. like there's no client calling me why didn't you come to this why was this food? no because someone didn't do their work or this person didn't do a b c d and all right. that i was like let me just go back and focus on the thing that i love the most yeah. Yeah. and the thing that is 100% my responsibility. Mm. If I don't get a gig, it's me. That's I'm right. not blaming anyone. Mm. If I go to a gig and I, I don't perform, it's me. It's I'm you. not blaming yeah. anyone. For you sure, get? for sure. Because at some point I felt like, I'm, I'm, I'm stressed because this guy didn't press play. I'm stressed because this guy erased some footage. I'm stressed because this guy do this guy didn't do the can't went like, full and he never notified yes. you. So <laughs> yeah. go back. And this, this is why post-pandemic, I came back with full force and I was like, I know I still have what it takes. Yeah. I know I still have the connect. Mm. Yeah. All I need is a chance. And if they give me a chance, mm. that's it. And I'm putting my foot back in the knee. And that's how I'm 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 back. <coughs> you know, like now there's even guys in Kisumu they're like, what? You know, this guy was just with this guy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This guy has a, you know, mm. and even those guys were like, you know, and guys are happy for me and guys are trying to connect me here and there. Like like you said, there's so many guys who are, you know, pushing for me because they know yeah. what I'm about right. what I'm capable of mm. and there are guys who are also in now positions of influence yeah. right. that remember what I did for them gotcha. ah. subconsciously though again yeah go to so what you said do don't, don't burn your bridges yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. and I think to slam dunk it mm. the other thing that again that puts that I've done for the culture or the culture probably feels like this guy did for us and mm. that's why the respect is there that I've not mentioned mm. is during the pandemic remember the president gave out like a hundred million for stimulus oh, content yeah. creators uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. you get so Big Ted was part of the team that was moving around uh -huh. uh, doing the thing yeah. mm. so he calls me and is like Godo come mm -hmm. in fact I want you to Big Ted was doing production uh -huh. they just think we're doing audio mm. So Ted calls me, come here, I want you to fly the drone. You know, every go yeah. capture. Mm. So I, w I went into it nice. on the production side. Mm. Ah. But when I got there, I'm like, so many DJs came. Mm. Yes. Especially the first one. But they're like, no, DJs were supposed to have submitted their mixes. They were not doing it live. Mm. Oh. But so many DJs came. And then this guy's PPMC guys were, were kind enough to be like, okay, let's set up something and let's have DJs perform and then oh. they get something. Mm. Who's the DJ who's on the ground? Oh, no. <laughs> you know your people, <laughs> organize your people. Let's so go. every town we started going Kisi, uh -huh. Kericho, where Kisumu, Kakamega, and all this. Uh, I came bearing. Mm. Oh, no. yeah. So, so I, I think all these things that I've, I've been able to sort of find myself doing for mm. the DJs, because mm. like I never set up to do any of that. Mm. Never, like, you know, it's just being called because you're here and because you can do this. Mm. And, all these things, the people would call me now and they remember around this time you yeah, you did this for Right us. place yeah. at the right time. Yeah. So even coming back now, if I can call it coming back because I never left, mm -hmm. it's easier because you now find people in positions of power. Yeah. Yeah. When I was playing in El Eldoret, uh -huh. this boy I mentored, he was in, in campus. There's another boy I mentored in Eldoret. Uh -huh. Now, DJ Neil is uh -huh. like my protege. 
okay. he was in campus and I saw him de- there standing next to me all the time and you know and I was like you want to be a DJ right come here come, come here one more did for me right now DJ Neil is the resident DJ at Tamil Hey, there you go. Shout out to DJ Neil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. There's a guy who used to dance there in front, and he's like, "Come to me, I want to." When I finish school, I want to know this thing, and I want to. And we used to talk, and all that. Is this young guy? Mm-hmm. It's called DJ Kibe. DJ Kibe is the resident DJ at at, at, at Kibe. Kibe. Yeah. Big up, yeah. Kibe. Yeah. This is awesome. This is yeah. awesome. So yeah, and, and, and there, are, there, there are so many stories, such stories, uh, mm. you know, so that you get back and you're finding, you know, <sighs> I walked into a club in Mombasa and a guy told me, I know you don't know me, but I used to party with you in LD. Wow. You know, you walk into a, you, you know, like you, you meet all these guys and mm. you probably didn't know them that much mm-hmm. or didn't know the little that you said or yeah. did mm. had a great impact mm. in their life, mm. you know, and just because of that. I'm able to come back to the industry yes. and I'm getting all these plugs because mm-hmm. someone remembers this and someone this. Mm-hmm. And then the most important thing is when you're given the job, you deliver. That's right. Because there's no point of just being plugged because you are you a gotta back it up, you right? Have to, mm-hmm. but yeah, you, you gotta come, back it up. When you, mm-hmm. when you come, you don't. Yeah, thing. You don't do thing. I think by the upper Imefika place, we're at a point where people need to understand one thing with the industry. Mm-hmm. The people that you see mm-hmm. doing it big up mm-hmm. there, these are people who invested in people. Yeah, that's the biggest investment. It's yeah. the biggest thing you can do. That's, true. And that's why I say, you to have date, to I, I do not, I do not have any regrets being in a DJ unit. Uh-huh. I might not have made the money I should have made. Yeah, but the connects that I made then, yeah. uh-huh. some of them, it's priceless. Some of them to date, I'm still feeding. Yeah. 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 Yeah knows his people by name mm. yes like literally the whole club mm. right will, tom nanny mm. nanny like he yeah so you know. why would you not pull up yeah that's like a, that's, that's a great home, story you, know? yeah, you yeah. feel yeah. important yeah. that's, that's a great skill to have funny story more more yeah. is more keen those are like my brothers or my people those are people i know uh, i believe they'll fight for me yeah mm. i met them in my bedroom Mm. First time I met them, I mean, these fights, but they're things I met them in my bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> now, Chris is my friend. Yeah. I used to, Chris Darling is a very good friend of mine. Yeah. So, Chris, I used to play rock at Mwenda's. Chris was playing reggae at uh, Madi. Mm. So, Niki Maliza just in a door cab, mm. and then I go to Madi, mm. chill, and I'm with Chris, and I'm never to get home because you're neighbors. Oh, uh, yeah. You guess why I know Chris Darling? Uh-huh. And I've seen his journey. Nene, nene. Yeah. Mm. So, Chris, at some point, wanted to start making mixes because mixes were a big thing. Nene, nene. Yeah. Different mm. mixes. Say your time can a simple Simon will come and dominate Sana and Sapphire. Massive is on missile, dance or missile. Mm. So Chris wanted done. And uh, but then mixing this was a man in me. Chris came to my house, he's like, I'm the one who had a computer. Mm. Mm. I'm the one who had a computer. Yeah, <laughs> OG, <laughs> the real OG of our so I, my, my, my mom actually bought me that computer. Mm. It's the signature guys before they open signature. Who fixed this? Mm. Oh, this yeah. Yeah. Mm. So what happened is that uh, Chris came with these two guys mm. who used to do mixes Zama uh, three. Mm. Yeah. These two guys. This is these two guys are Kim and Mo. Brothers. Wow. Mm-hmm. So he brought them to my house. The whole Duty family was yeah. there. Yeah. Nini, the, the little party rank, uh-huh. Daddy Konya, Nini, mm. and Mo was there, Nini, and they were making mixes Zam. The acid and yeah. it was acid and of Vegas. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I, I became more cl- I became closer to, to Kim than, than Mo. I'm, I'm, they, are, they are all my, my people, but because Mo was strictly reggae. Yes. Mm. Kim now started, you know, like at Good Godo, Takangoma, you know, because me at Siamuko with that kind of space. Mm-hmm. So at least could access here yeah, some gems. Uh, yes. Yeah. So Kim was like, this is my guy. Mm. Go exchange yeah. music with him. So mm. we started with him, Kitambo. Mo got another Vuga Dreed, and there's an answer. There's an answer. So every time I'd go to see Chris Darling, <laughs> no, no more now. Joined the different. Oh, yeah. So, and that brotherhood started there, and the respect has been there. Nee, 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 nee. Yeah. And we've pulled up for each other, we've been there for each other. Nee, nee. In fact, photographer wow, Chege Blinkai mm-hmm. was a guy I met in Eldoret. Ah, and I was like, he just wants to come to Nairobi. Let's go to Nairobi. Yes. Yeah, let's go to Nairobi. Let's go hang out. Kina Mo, Kina Naniwa Kona Show. Then you come to hang out, Koisho. I'm like, this is my guy, he's a photographer. So, watch out, pick a picture, pick a picture. 
So when most parts was pa- starting, they do they mm. do check a blink. Yeah. And it's been with them since. Plus See that. Mm. There you go. <laughs> so this is awesome. This is awesome. That's his legacy, yeah. man. Yeah. That's legacy. So like I'm. Um, I, I, I thank God for everything, like all these connections that are in me, all that right. stuff that people give me, I try to give them back. It doesn't matter. You might uh-huh. be 20 years younger than me, but I will respect you with the same respect. That uh-huh. I there you go. Things. That's you amazing. Human man. Being. Uh-huh. That's yeah. what my parents taught me. This is a human being you respect, them, yeah. regardless. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately for us and our industry, guys want to respect you based on what they can get from you. Mm. It's too money. I know this guy can cook me, so there's, yeah. there's, I respect him more than I respect him because I'm true. You no, know, for mm. now I don't need him, but you mm. don't know tomorrow. He it's might. him. The table must turn. Yeah, yeah, the table mm. must turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I appreciate all the DJs who actually walk up to me and tell me you've done this for me, you've done that for me, you've given me flowers when I'm still alive. Mm. I, I didn't set out to to do anything intentionally, uh-huh. but I'm glad that whatever I said or did or yeah. what. It had an impact. Yeah, yeah. that's that, that's yeah. amazing, yeah. man. So so let's uh, let's fast forward mm. to uh, currently. Yeah. Uh, DJ Gordo. Yeah. What's happening in your life right now, DJ and otherwise? No, what's happening is I've come back to reclaim my space that people try to push me away from. Boom. Right. Here now. There you go. Oh, so, you push us. Plenty okay, flash. Push yeah, they, they, th- they thought I'm gone. They thought I'm gone. Ah, good, good, yeah. good. Mm. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Right. I can't blame anyone for mm-hmm. me not being here. It was me. But she was for good purpose. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah I don't regret. Um, and you see, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I we started this thing by telling you about visiting your parents. Mm-hmm. Right. I was that guy who was going that's home once. Good. I was that guy who was going home once a year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I've started DJing. I'm working six days a week. I'm mm-hmm. so I barely have time to go home. Yeah. Yeah. Again. So by the time I was going to Kisumu and moving to Kisumu and all that, mm-hmm. I'd gone home so much that previously, when I go home, my dad would be waiting for me at the stage. Mm-hmm. Wow. Because he's not seen me for a long time. Mm-hmm. Then he knows I'm just there for maybe a day or two, mm. you know. That's I'll right. maybe just sleep there one night and tomorrow I have to go because of work and because mm-hmm. of what and because of, mm-hmm. you know. So like, even the day I'm leaving, he would take me all the way in back bus stop and you know. Mm. I went home so much because of being in Kisumu and all that yes. that I'd be driving home. Okay, then God have blessed me with a car. I'd be mm. driving home and get a compound. I'm meeting my dad going. And I'd be like, oh, me kuja. Ah, yes, sir. But since you're in you're happy. I was like, oh, I'll see this guy. You know, like, I always see this guy. Oh, no, I'm here. So, like, even, even when he passed, I, I, I didn't feel that because I felt like I spent a lot of time with him. Mm. So, That's good. Yes, I spent a lot of time with yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't, I don't regret. I got into production. I love production. That's right. That's it's amazing. It's a good thing I met you. I, I know we'll do things. I'm st- I still want to be in production. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just that I took some time off because I was feeling like, you know, yeah. I took some time off. Let's, let me concentrate on this DJing thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So currently, DJ Godot is out here. Is calling to money every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good guy. Good guy. <laughs> my dates are open. open. My yeah. dates are open. <laughs> when am I on? Yeah, because I come from an old school and... and, and then you would get gigs because you're harsh, because yeah. you're good. Right. Now you have to make those phone calls. And I advise so many DJs, guys, call. You tell them, guys, mm-hmm. call. You know, Definitely. sometimes guys sit and you're, and you're like, they'll call me because I'm a good DJ. Actually, sometimes calling is not, it's not, it's not, it's not enough. Pull up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Make a conversation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What, I, what yeah. I'm trying to yeah. say is yeah. that people reach out oh, to reach get the gig. Yeah. Exactly. It's not that I Don't sit here. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. 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 I'm the shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'm, I'm the call. calling you. Okay. Yeah. So no one is calling you and you yeah. feel like hey, there's a cartel, there's mm. a what. Nah. People call. Mm. People yeah. call. And, and these are things that I learned. Mm. You got to stay in the loop. Yeah, I also for come, sure. I also come from like, like almost all my career I've played in a particular place. You know, I was part of the movie so we have assigned assigned places. I went to Signature I was assigned. Yeah. So now coming out, I was like, you know, Tomani would tell me, when? Yeah, this is August. Mm-hmm. Tell me, the Tizakos are November's in a card. I'm like, this guy doesn't want to give. November? This guy doesn't want to give. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, that thing used to bug me. Yes. I'm like, mm. what the hell? <laughs> Why are you? No, who called you November's? You didn't know. Joe, mm. Joe is the one who actually taught me that. Joe is the one who actually taught me that. Because, like, I remember speaking to him d- during this, is this pandemic, come on. There's another club he was playing. Mm-hmm. Joe told me, gig yake ya, ya narok, mm-hmm. elevate or something, mm-hmm. is in you December 20th, you or 25th, must mm-hmm. <laughs> we are in mid-year. Mm-hmm. And you have a he's gig in December, bro? December. Mm-hmm. He's booked a gig in December. And I'm like, 
Wait. You get it? What's yeah. happening? So, that's why I said to understand. So, it's okay, guys. It's can okay. Book. Yes, yes, can yeah. Yeah. Zina. And those Zinafika, you know, mm. there are things you're like, hey, that date will never get Hey, but they've got... Mm. Then I've got you start to realize... Feelings for real. Yeah, you start yeah. to realize yeah. the Zinafika, they just get here. Yeah. You know, that's the new style. I mean, it's you get. get there. So, again, you, you, you learn this is what guys are doing now. I just have to do it. You have to do it. There so, you go. that's you what I am. Mean. Yeah, yeah, if you guys want to book me, book me, please. Hey, I, next year, February, he's there. Ask. Ask about me, they will tell you. All those there places you go. I'll go check my socials, Godor, the Guru, ask those places that I've gone. All right, I'm so yeah that, that, yeah, that brings us to uh, to your plugs, your social media. Yes. Where you at? Twitter? IG? I'm at Twitter. Twitter is, for me, is more politics, right. what's happening right now. More like X. That's, where, that's where I go. Right. Though I, I have linked to all my socials. Okay. So. Though I, I go to Twitter when I want to see what's trending, what's nearly got you done. politically, not, what's yeah, happening in the country. All right, but it's mostly IG. IG Godo the Guru. Mm-hmm. Actually, I lost my first account. It was Godo Rock Guru. I don't know what happened. Right. I lost the account. It's yours floating. It's not there. It's not a good thing. Now, what's Guru? Right. Because I, I now, now when I came back, I, I call it Godo the Guru, not Godo Rock Guru. Um, okay, got yes, you. So go do the guru. So it goes with me. the brand, right? Yes, it's me on social media. Represent. There you go. So it right. is right there. Nini nowadays are my merchandise. Nini nini. Yeah. Shout out to Sub Zero Wear. Sway is the guy who hooks me up with all this. Shout out. Tell me, hey, nice. Jose, your, nice. Your designer is is is, is more than awesome. Me. Yeah. So I'm like, that's what's happening right now. So I'm 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 pushing. And like, guys, please follow me, man, so that this guy gives me a gig. There you go. <laughs> see right, my guys. numbers on on social media is like, come on, let's go hit him, hit him up. I call the guys because they're cool. I call a guy and you know he's like, and to me Instagram yanko. I don't even think that guy went there. I think I like another two followers. Now this guy picking a man to have in a meeting. The day I the day I call you, the day I play the club, I'll remind you that. Yeah. There you go. It's funny when when somebody um when when I book this ninja. I never checked his IG. Boom, there you go. Way, like, I've had three people say, Godo, 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 Godo. You know what, Godo, Chess? That's it, come on. So, Let's play. Uh, other marketers, man. That's right. I'm a harsh guy. I'm a, I'm a very serious <laughs> DJ, that, yeah. one, that one, I, it's, it's nothing you can tell me about it. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, here's, here's one, one, one uh, thing we always ask all our guests. Uh, wise words for the uh, Kijanas. Yeah. What do you have to say yeah. to those guys? Talk to them, bro. You can look right, right into the lens right there. I said it before. Like, talk to them. I'm, 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 this is the first time that I've ever done a DJ interview. And tell, I mean, a DJ interview and told my story. Mm. Right. And I think from the stories that you keep telling, there's one thing that consistently comes up. It's that guys have grind. Yeah. You know, guys have, you know, and instead of me telling you what to do, watch this podcast again and again. Yeah. You will pick keywords. You will yeah. pick, I met this guy here, and I came and met this guy, and uh, because of this guy, I was here, and because of this guy, and when we did this with this guy, this happened, and this. Yeah. That's the one thing that has been consistent in my stories. Uh, yeah. You get so instead of me telling you what to do, is watch this and watch again. Know that the guy who actually sold me my first computer and assembled it and advised me about it and blah, 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 and I was writing CDs there, later on came and gave me a gig at Signature that I did for years. Uh, yeah. This guy that did this, I met him here, up here, and here. That's why I keep telling guys don't burn bridges. Mm. Industry, what would I chase? Or you lose money, the guy will not pay you. Exactly. Those things are there. You get, but the most important thing to invest on is like we say, mm-hmm. is invest on people. Um, relationships, guys. Relationships are uh, everything. Yeah. But be a good DJ. Hey. Because you will invest on relationships, <laughs> you will get the gig with the choma. Yeah. You will not need Don't you neglect get, the skills. That's the, that's the other thing. That's right. Yes. Well, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Skills. And then the, I think the most important thing is also, like, again, from my stories, you will realize that I've tried to move with the things like yeah. when i came in cds i was burning cds and then this image thing came internet thing came i mean the, the laptop thing came and yeah. you know i adapted and i was mm. top again you know like 
And this is some of some of the best DJs in Kenya have been doing that. You know, yeah. something new comes, they, they they grasp it. Right. There's something that we were taught from an earlier stage, and I think even DJ Kroba said it. Every five or so years, there's something that shifts. That's true. The guys who are on on top. It's just a shift. There's a new me that comes. That's oh, what yeah. not you. You know, like we can agree with you. Been there, you know. Mm-hmm. But when I was here, hey, hey, at this time, we can agree with you. Been here. At, at some point, you know, like I say, the CDs were a big thing. Mm-hmm. Kidogo nini do you mix it? Mekuja nini now? Guys have shifted to laptop. Nini nini kidogo mm-hmm. computers? Mekuja now. Guys have shifted to social media. Nini? Yeah. And if you're not able to adapt. That's it. You will fall. Ah, mm. you're, you're done. You don't. You do not have to always be on top. Mm. Keep up. But keep up. Yes, you're right. just there. Consistent. Yes. You're just there. Like I've been there all along. That's yeah. why you see all these DJs like in a style like in a They're just there. Mm. Even yeah. if they're not the the, the the hottest DJ right, right. now, right. but they, they they are a part of the conversation. Uh, they, yeah, they're consistent. For all this they're part. consistent. Yes. So the reason why we do this podcast. Is, and the reason why I wanted to do my bits and breaks mm. right. is so that guys learn from. Yes. You don't just see John Fanmi there and you want to be like him. Uh, Listen to his story. Exactly. Right, right. You will right. learn more mm. yeah. Absolutely. than watching him DJ. Yes. Yeah. Now, when I did bits and breaks, I I knew guys were so inclined to seeing a DJ scratch. Mm. That's why it started with a DJ mixing mm. and it ended with a DJ. That's what people wanted. Yeah. Right, right. But I was like, the most important is what comes out of this thing. Yeah. What story does he have to tell? From mm. his story, what mm. can I learn? Yeah. Mm. So, young guys who want, who want me to tell them something, I have told you that for three hours. There you mm. go. Now, there's no way I'm going to summarize it. Watch go it. and yeah. watch it. Watch, watch it, it again, again. again and again. All right, again, guys. You know, you, you exactly. YouTube has has a repeat function, a loop function. Loop. Put it on loop. All right. That's yeah. it. And who knows? We might cut up your little gems that you know uh, DJ go to drop oh, throughout yeah. the this interview. Just for you, a little bite-sized, little you know, so you guys can consume it. And uh, once again, the Vinyl Space Podcast, all right, where we talk about everything and anything related to DJ culture and the two five four. I am the OG. I go by the name DJ Joe Flex, aka Mr. Greatness. MC Toxic. Oh, I go by the name Tomani. And three things. Sorry. Wake up, Mama Godo. You've done a good job. Boom. Two, Mama Tom. Mm. Suzanne, hey, you've done a good job. Hey, hey, hey. Three, Mama Togzi, visit, <laughs> visit your parents. Uh, uh, DJ, I know you're busy and it's acceptable. Uh-huh. You're all grinding and hustling and everything. And not just DJs, everyone. But hey, if you met a coach, no. don't forget your mama. That's right. Don't forget your parents, ideally. Uh-huh. Yeah. I am the real OG. Like the government knows I'm the OG. Hey, there you go. Oh, Mondi, go 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 one thing, uh, you know, like Tomani has said, visit your parents. I'll tell you what, I'm here mm-hmm. because of my mom's prayers. There you go. Awesome. Hey, now, don't forget Pops because Pops yes, was. Pops is up there now. He's yeah. watching. He's yeah, watching. He's watching. He's watching. He's watching. Shut up, Pops.